All right, today I'm going to show you how to braise copper to metal. I've already prepped my joint, sanded it, and I've, I've put some uh, stay silver on it, some flux. Um, I'm using a 45% um, silver solder, and normally I use 15% right here on um, copper to copper or copper to brass joints. But today I'm going to do a metal to copper and I've already fluxed it and you see I've got my rag right there let me get it to focus um, the rag right there is to keep it kind of cool let me put this over here get it where you can see what I'm doing sorry I ain't got a good camera I'm trying to use my phone alright there we go now got it nitrogen ready so I'm turning my nitrogen on I ain't got That'll work. Alright, so nitrogen on, torch on, and I'm brazing. It's inching and eight is what I'm brazing. And see, I like my torch flame to look like that. Now, the key to doing this is not to worry about the metal, but to get your copper hot. Because the metal will get hot with the copper. Ain't quite ready yet. Ain't quite ready yet. See it dripping off. Little blob right there staying. Once it starts, once you see a little, I like to try to get a little bit to stay on there. That way I can tell how hot it's getting. See, it's already starting to stick to my metal over there. I need my copper to get hot. Come on, copper. Slowly but surely, that copper's getting close. Flame up a little bit, maybe. There we go, that feels better. There we go, now it's starting to melt that little bit better right there. Once it gets right, you, you'll know. Aha, there we go. And then you just kind of work your flame on around, and that silver solder will follow it. Keep heating up your copper. Don't worry about the metal. You just feather your flame onto the metal. Work it on around, all the way around. Now I like to come to the other side. And I try to keep most of my flame off of the metal part itself. Like I said, I heat up the copper. And just kind of feather my, my torch and make that silver solder work onto the metal. back and just double check most of my little spots and make sure I got good solder contact. Make sure I got all my holes filled. A visual check is what's 
a lot. Just kind of looking at it and seeing what it looks like. And you see I'm burning my rag. I'm going to heat that little spot right there, right back up and get that solder. It don't look like it's quite bonded like I want it to. And I believe that's it. Alright, I got my nitrogen still running. Let me reach back here and get a rag. <laughs> Use an old sock. And I just wrap and a bunch of just whatever rags cut up in the little strips, different sizes. nitrogen off now. Get me a fresh rag. Slide these on down. A little warm. Go ahead and rewrap that. Try to let it cool down a little bit more. Alright, so that it's got the, the, the flashlight on, I don't know why, but that is the finished metal to copper joint. And you can take some sand cloth, kind of just clean it up a little bit. And there, let me zoom out, maybe that'll help. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I still got a bright, shiny light on there. But that is what your copper to metal joint should look like. And you go just go around it and check, and make sure you won't know 100% if it's good to go until you uh, do a pressure check. But most of the time, if you do it like that and you visually check it, it'll it'll close itself up and, you know, just put a little bit more heat to it and move, move your silver solder on around and it'll do it for you. All right.